Good morning, good morning, good morning. So for our seven sacraments, so far we have learned about baptism, Eucharist, and reconciliation. Today we're going to talk about two other sacraments, confirmation. This is a, a sacrament you will receive in the Catholic Church. You receive it usually in eighth grade. Um, I know in Orthodox churches you get it at birth, or I'm sorry, when you're baptized you get it. But in the Catholic Church we usually don't receive it until 8th grade. And then anointing of the sick, we're going to learn about that special sacrament. Okay, so let's take a look at those two biblical references to them. So confirmation is another one of those three sacraments of initiation. Okay, so we had... If you look here, baptism is a sacrament of initiation, and so is the Eucharist, and the final one is confirmation. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together, and suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. That was found in Acts of the Apostles in the Bible, chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. This probably sounds familiar, guys. This is Pentecost. We talked about this last week, um, that's when Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to come and be with the apostles so that they could go out and teach other people and share the good news with them. And so we, um, during the spirit, I'm sorry, during the sacrament of confirmation, that is what happens, okay? There's certain gifts that are received during confirmation, okay? So you're going to do this today. All right, let's go ahead and read about it. In the sacrament of confirmation, you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit as you continue your journey with Christ. A bishop anoints you on the forehead with chrism oil to make the sign of the cross and says, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Confirmation is the final sacrament of initiation and strengthens your faith. So you guys are going to do this part, and then you'll be able to lift the flaps to learn more about the special gifts that the Holy Spirit gives you, okay? The reason in the Catholic Church that we receive this when we're older is because we um, want, just like the apostles, we want to go out and share the good news. So we really need to know all about the church, okay? In order to share, we need to know more about it. So these are the gifts that you're going to cut out. You're only going to cut on the dotted line. So cut all the way around the outside and then just cut in, 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 in. And then you put glue right there and you can glue your strips there. So the gifts of the Holy Spirit are wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord, okay? So wisdom helps us recognize and value God's will in our lives. Understanding helps us grasp the meaning of God's message. Counsel helps us make wise decisions that follow God's plan. Fortitude gives us strength to overcome difficulties in faith and do what's right. Knowledge helps to enlighten our mind and know more about God's plan. Piety helps us to love and serve God, and fear of the Lord helps us to respect the power of God. So these are the gifts of the Holy Spirit that you will receive during confirmation. All right, so you're going to cut and glue and work on that. Then you're going to work on the flap about anointing of the sick. So let's read a little bit about anointing of the sick. Anointing of the sick is a sacrament of healing. Here's a part of um, a reading. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. 
That's found in the Bible in the book of James, chapter 5, verses 14 through 15. And those elders of the church are the priests. Okay, The priests are, are the ones that will come, pray over them, and anoint them with that holy, with that um, oil of the sick. Okay? All right, so let's take a look at our flat. Let's read a little bit more about that. Anointing the sick is a sacrament of healing and is given to those who are sick and unable to go to confession. This sacrament is received when the priest anoints the hands and forehead of the person and gives a special blessing for healing, strength, and peace. It allows for physical and spiritual healing and is a sacrament that can be received more than once. For those who are unable to go to church or confession, what can you do to help these individ uh, individuals stay connected to God? So think about three things you can do, okay? If there's someone who's really sick and can't get to church, think about three things that you can do, things you can share with them, all right? And then create a poster with a positive message for someone who is ill. In my name, they will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So anointing of the sick, it used to only be given to people who were dying. And um, now you can receive it several different times. If you're very sick, um, the priest can come in. It used to be you could only receive it once and they would do it right before someone would pass away. They would call in the priest. And um, it had a different name called extreme unction. But now we just call it anointing of the sick. And the priest can actually do this. You can receive this more than once. So it's a pretty cool sacrament on that part. All right, guys. So go ahead and complete those flaps. And then tomorrow we'll do our final two flaps. Have a great day.